Hello, my name is Marcus, and welcome to my channel. On our most recent trip to Walt Disney World, we had the ability to stay at the Walt Disney World Dolphin Resort. Now, previously, if you've ever heard of these resorts before, you probably heard of them as the Swan and Dolphin Resorts because they're adjacent twin resorts to one another. Now, kind of the funny thing about this particular resort is it is not owned by Disney per se. It is owned by the Marriott that just leases out its properties to Disney to kind of include in all of its amenities uh, as a Disney Deluxe Resort. Um, I'm here today to, to give you every inch in detail about this resort, if it's worth the price. Uh, now, this is considered a deluxe resort. Uh, for a two-night stay, you're looking to spend around a thousand bucks, so about $500 a night. Uh, that is uh, what we paid, and that is uh, the average price, uh, even if you're looking to stay at the Walt Disney World Dolphin in around January of 2025, so on and so forth. So, is it worth that price? I'm going to show you everything there is to know, so let's get started, man. Obviously, the first thing you'll notice is the exterior atmosphere. Absolutely stunning, no denying that. A whole lot of dolphins. <laughs> As we enter into the hotel, first thing you'll see from the front is this escalator taking us up to the main lobby. Uh, from the top there, you're going to see to the right convention center and the left, the lobby. Kind of the big thing about this resort, it is a lot of space for conventions as well. So it's like half resorts, definitely a uh, half. Uh, you're going to see a whole lot of uh, business conventions here as well. So it's almost like half of the hotel is dedicated to it. More signing, you got some taxi services to Hollywood Studios and Epcot. Really wanted to show off this super cool artwork of uh, Tafiki. Uh, this is the uh, experience of the journey of water that just opened up in Epcot. This is literally a replica of uh, the grass monument of Tafiti. So very, very cool to see that here. Then we take a look at the main lobby here as well. Very beautiful, very stylish. Really like the lighting and the interior sculpture of the lights that they have in the center structure here. I really like the patterning on the flooring. It looks like the Nintendo GameCube logo. <laughs> it does, you can't lie. I really like those windows on the far side of the structure as well. It kind of has like a top shelf and the bottom shelf of windows. Those are just cool. They just speak to me. More dolphins. Uh, kind of the theming of this hotel. Hint, hint. <laughs> I mean, it's got dolphin in the title, so kind of makes sense, I guess. Then we look at this teardrop exterior structure going mean, from the top of the ceiling. It's really cool. Kind of gives the impression. It makes it look like you're underwater. Just going to the other side here. I really like the black uh, square structures here they almost look like doorways kind of leading into different sectors of the hotel just showing you off the bar area we got two sports screens here showing off football it's really cool and we have a collection of halls here that are being served then uh, leading you into the market service here that's called fuel really really cool here you can get your sandwiches and your soups and your salads uh, you can order pizza from, uh, from this establishment really cool i ended up getting a couple of sandwiches from here you know you get your chips and your candy bars uh so on it's really cool everything that i got here tasted great this is a really cool sculpture of uh, mike wazowski it's uh, literally just made of that glass uh, it was really cool i figured i'd show it off then we have uh, diabetic corner over here <laughs> uh, just your collection of candy bars and sweets and chocolates and kind of like that old school you know scoop of candy sector over here really cool and then just showing you off the different side of uh, fuel here this is where you order all your sandwiches and your pizzas and whatnot the gift shop here Probably the weirdest Disney hotel souvenir gift shop I've ever experienced. Uh, this has uh, little to no merchandise representing the actual hotel. You know, if you go to your Polynesians, your Grand Floridians, Boardwalk, uh, even the All-Stars, they usually have merchandise representing the logo of said hotel. You don't get that here. The Dolphin does not have any merchandise representing the Walt Disney World Dolphin Hotel. Very, very weird. I guess that just has to do with the merchandising and the ownership. Uh, we also have another weird one, Resort Essentials. Uh, this is one of those... Uh, gift shops 
that's like just a normal Orlando hotel. I mean, if you've ever stayed in, in a hotel outside of Disney World, these shops are everywhere inside of essentially every hotel outside of Disney. You get all your normal essentials, your snacks, your medicines, jewelry, shirts, souvenirs representing Orlando, Florida. Not any of the parks. You know, your snow globes, your refrigerator magnets, just representing Orlando, Florida. You never really see that in any of the Disney resorts. Actually, you never see it. I've never seen it. This is the first time I've ever seen something representing Orlando, Florida in a resort on Disney property. It's so weird. <laughs> I know it's kind of a weird thing to point out, but trust me, if you've stayed at as many Disney resorts as I've stayed at, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. Uh, just the map of the Dolphin and Swan Resorts here. Nothing too crazy. Guest services. Uh, every Disney resort has this. If you have any issues with, with your tickets or your hotel pricing, uh, this is where you go to get that addressed. Just a painting I wanted to show off. I thought it was cool. Hikabu. Uh, this is one of the quick service restaurants for the Dolphin Hotel. I thought it was a cool logo. Figured I'd show the interior of this dining uh, experience. Kind of looks reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese, you know. Definitely that carpet. <laughs> it just looks like very kid friendly. It just looks fun. It just looks really fun. We did not partake in uh, peekaboo you know i just wanted to show it off however we did order room service i'll show that off in a second this has access to, to the game room as well i thought that was cool you can go right from the peekaboo dining experience right into the arcade game room so that is a cool experience now i will show you off some food we got room service biscuits and gravy eggs and potatoes this was very delicious i do give uh, the dolphin credit to every food item that we got from this resort was very delicious got a little side order of bacon here very very good juicy crispy crunchy the mickey waffles with the powdered sugar on top that's how you know it's a fancy establishment when they when they sprinkle the powdered sugar on top of the mickey waffles blueberry waffles very good oh man when you break them things in part they are buttery delicate fluffy to die for strawberry and raspberry concord we have a crispy waffle here with powdered sugar on top as well listen like i said everything we put in our mouths from this resort's room service was delicious now let's show you the game room here very cool have our space invaders pretty much if you've seen one Disney Resort arcade experience. You've seen them all. We got a Wheel of Fortune there. We have a Marvel Photo Lab, Jurassic Park arcade game. We have a Flappy Birds. That's really cool. We have a Nerf arcade game. It's really cool as well. Batman, uh, probably the one that stuck out to most of me personally. Y'all know I'm a avid sonic fan <laughs> we have a sonic air hockey machine that was super cool we have a pac-man basketball machine sweet then we have uh, a uh, skeet ball experience there you gotta have that as classic arcade terminator gotta love that uh, definitely awesome serious classics some franchises there get your prizes there just chuck e cheese style you, you win some games you get some prizes man taking y'all back outside show you more of the the external atmosphere of the resort very beautiful it's definitely one thing you have to give disney credit for on all of their resorts just the atmosphere the lawn services uh, the water just everything is just crystal clear just you can see yourself it's literally a mirror on top i'm um, getting you a show of the walt disney world uh, uh, swan uh, uh, dvc building off to the side there really cool and this is the main swan hotel like i said it is adjacent to the dolphin right on the other side with it walking distance literally twins of one another of course you gotta love the sign of the no swimming playing or fishing in water beware of wildlife alligators gotta love that uh looks like you have the ability to take a drive in one of the little swan machines there if you want to that's pretty cool kind of look like they're out of service right now though but who knows i also saw something pretty interesting the walt disney world swan dolphin selfie 
square there there you go get some of that action going on there and the first time ever i've been staying at disney resorts for at least the past 15 years and this is the first time ever i've ever seen a basketball go at one of their resorts so i found that pretty cool i haven't seen a basketball go since the disney wish <laughs> that's the cruise line not even a resort so i definitely partook in that action look at that oh yeah <laughs> get the skills bro we also have a table tennis uh, action going on here as well you know joe and taylor y'all don't want none <laughs> that is my brother if he ever watches one of these videos he would know exactly what i'm talking about you already know also got some pool table action going on here i kind of found that interesting i've never seen an outdoor pool table before it has some interesting material for the table itself i don't know how you know you get the balls on there and actually are able to shoot accurately but you know i'm all for it though why not i'd give it a try then we have the pool or at least one of the pools there's a lot of pools at the walt disney world dolphin hotel we also have uh, the caravana so that's pretty cool this is the uh, food service action that we have going on at the pool so at the uh, dolphin hotel it was closed while i was doing my walkthrough i have a lot of chairs uh, definitely not a shortage of lawn chairs for the pool if you want to get that sun tank going on there this is your foot bath pretty cool always useful if you want to clean that sand off of your feet there like i said a lot of pools it is a uh, at least like four or five different adult pools going on here i figured i'd dip my toes in here kind of get a little bit of wet action i go nice that's all i need though that's all i need bro like not a lot it's first thing in the morning just dip my toes in that's all i need just give you more of the action uh, or an atmosphere here definitely a beautiful just setting set piece hopefully y'all are appreciating that i'm sure you all have kind of noticed uh, one of the tropes of this hotel there's not any representation of any disney character art or characters running around at all whatsoever while i'm showcasing these pools and hot tubs and baby pools i figure this is a good time to talk about this the walt disney world uh, swan and dolphin they have walt disney in the name but they don't have any of the normal disney character theming and amenities that the majority of the other disney resorts have you're not going to find any characters running around you're not going to find any artwork of uh, the disney characters every other disney resort that we've stayed in it is riddled with disney characters from mickey and friends lion king uh, pixar there's literally everywhere but swan and dolphin i think it's something with the legal alities or the ramifications of the contract that they have in place you just don't see it here a uh, cool look at this grotto area this really reminds me of ariel's grotto from the little mermaid but you definitely not find an ariel here because she is a disney character obviously you're just not gonna see it here i don't know i found that very weird so i feel like definitely if you're looking to stay at this resort if you got kids just be informed that you are not going to find any disney characters running around or any disney in the artwork at all whatsoever that is uh, very important to say in my opinion because i did not know that beforehand i would even go as far as to say it's more disney character representation of the good neighbor hotels uh, that you see around i drive and the surrounding areas of orlando around the disney resorts so very very crazy okay now let's we're coming to this beach area you can get in some uh, beach volleyball action on this beach with a whole lot of lawn chairs here's our volleyball right on top of this cornhole station here cornhole is my game so it's very pleasing to see that for an availability as well we have these blue lawn chairs in front of what looks to me seems to be a stage probably you can fit a projection screen in this area as well you can probably get some home movies going on there or maybe some play action some hammocks if you want to take yourself a nice nap on the beach area that was really cool there's some more viewing of the hotel itself there's no denying that the swan is an absolutely beautiful structure and uh, resort you know the grass is in peak condition the water is crystal clear beautiful there's no denying that it is very postcard 
pretty to look at. Coming up on the standard uh, playground structure that you see at the majority of uh, the Disney resorts. This time we have a blue and yellow style jungle gym, a couple of uh, slides, some swing sets. Now we're coming up on the gym. Uh, open 24 hours. That is very nice. We have uh, some bikes, some spin cycles, some treadmills, uh, some cool atmosphere for sure. Smelled nice in there, considering that it's a gym. Step machine, that was pretty cool, definitely nifty. If you want to get in a quick workout during your Disney vacation. Again, this is standard for all of the Disney World resorts. You know, I've never stayed inside of a Disney World resort and did not find a gym. Water services, cold and hot, cold towels. You have a vending machine with Coca-Cola products, more artwork. I like this checkered style artwork that they have in there. I thought that was cool. Additional equipment, you have a, a shoulder press machine, leg extensions, uh, squat machine, bench press, incline press, uh, dumbbells to get some shoulders and biceps going, tricep extensions, uh, very nice. Also had some medicine balls to go along as well. Step machine, more bicep uh, curls, uh, more medicine balls then we have a punching bag as well figured out to get in some work on the bag that was really cool tell you what that's the first time i've ever seen a punching bag at a disney resort so they definitely got that going for it thought that was really cool also have a running track it's one mile and a 5k track i think the yellow one the orange one was the one mile the red one is the 5k track so that's really cool camp dolphin something that the kids can get into it is a reservation required if you're interested in that and if you needed to do some laundry that is a service available for that as well even though i think you have to pay for that the blue zoo one of the restaurants in the dolphin hotel now personally we did not eat here but i was able to get in here and see some of the atmosphere very cool looking restaurant kind of darkish bluish kind of representation of a, a bar nightclub atmosphere I definitely enjoy the interior of this restaurant for sure. I have heard that the food is delicious in here. Again, we didn't get to partake ourselves. That's okay. Maybe next time. The Rosa Mexicano, the other restaurant for the Dolphin Hotel. Again, uh, we did not get to partake in this either, but I have heard great things about the food here. I have some drink services, get you some fresh lemonades, teas uh, over here at the fountain eats and sweets uh, cool atmosphere kind of look like an old school 1950s bowling alley so definitely like the atmosphere of that even though still a severe lack of disney characters just something definitely worth pointing out also have the mandura spa going on here as well again we did not partake in any of the spa services that is an additional charge but i still was able to go and explore some of the interior functions of the spa itself very nice smelled like a perfume store in here so i guess they got that going for them but very nice everything was well organized uh, candles makeups lotions body washes uh, it's like a manicure and pedicure station uh, very nice. So it's definitely available for anybody that would want to partake in that. Personally, I'm not really been interested. Uh, I mean, I could definitely use a massage, though. So those options are here for you. But like I said, that is at an additional price, depending on what you want. Now, another little cool tidbit that I didn't know existed before until now. Shula Steakhouse, uh, the namesake of Don Shula, the head coach of the Miami Dolphins during the 1970s. If you're up to date or interested in some NFL the National Football League trivia. Don Shula was the head coach of the Dolphins during uh, their tinted uh, perfect season. The only NFL team in history to have a perfect record of 13 and 0. So found that to be pretty cool. He was a back-to-back -back, uh, Super Bowl champion. So it's awesome, man. So I guess you know if you uh, take a team from Florida, since you know Disney World is stationed in Florida, uh, Miami Dolphins. Obviously, Miami is in Florida. So I guess. It's kind of makes sense for them to give him a restaurant on disney property since he took a team that is stationed in the same state 
<laughs> multiple times to the Super Bowl and actually won and holds, still holds that record today. The only perfect season in NFL history. There's a little bit of memorabilia from the coach himself, some signed stuff, shirts. Personally, I'm not a Dolphins fan myself. I'm an Eagles fan, but you know, I just found it definitely interesting and wanted to show it off for you guys. I would assume definitely a huge thing for Dolphins fans, especially if you were alive during the 70s. So technically, we didn't actually get to eat here. We just didn't have the time, but fortunately, I was able to walk inside of the restaurant to show you guys the, the interior of the table structures and the architecture. Beautiful restaurant. It's definitely five star quality for sure, at least when it comes to atmosphere. Uh, I would assume that probably get some really good steaks here as well. Now, as we head back out to the exterior, we get another look at the Rosa Americano. This is the Mexican restaurant. Again, just didn't have the time to eat here either. We were only here for the weekend room tour while disney world swan and dolphin we got taylor swift on the front of the tv screen here that's different definitely another nod to show that this is not a disney owned hotel so they cannot advertise all of their advancements uh, like they do in every other disney resort a couple of twin beds uh, we have uh, a couple of outlet sources in uh, the lamp there helpful alarm clock nice little table curtains uh, the view outside of our room was pretty horrific so it wasn't even worth showing off a nice little chair there it was padded comfortable uh, they did supply us with some dasani waters uh, we had an unlimited supply throughout the duration of our trip and they restocked it every day so that was cool and dasani water is not my favorite uh, <laughs> bottled water source by any stretch of the imagination but it was free so i was cool with it tea and coffee of course and a coffee maker that's pretty standard for your hotel rooms uh, this day and age uh, ironing board hangers a safe uh, same thing all kind of standard towels and washcloths we did have to uh, call them to get extra towels and washcloths we're walking around disney walking 10 miles a day so we definitely had to shower and make use of that glasses uh, that's always helpful we get little coasters as well i meant to take one of those coasters home but i just forgot uh, we do also have a specific swan and dolphin hand soaps as well it's not that other brand that the Disney resorts use. So I found that interesting as well. They were just specifically labeled for the Swan and uh, Dolphin Hotel. So you don't get your H2O <laughs> soaps and shampoos uh, and body creams and lotions at this resort. They got their own. So shower was nice, had multiple different functions. Uh, toilet worked well was able to take like three showers during this vacation they are all extremely comfortable the girl took took a bath she seemed to definitely enjoy herself so very uh, organized uh, the uh, lotions and the soap smelled good so definitely worth pointing that out elevators uh just i found this interesting i figured i'd show it off kind of looks like a smoky ocean <laughs> i don't know i thought it was cool so here it is the elevator to the dolphin now, as I mentioned before, this is like half hotel, half of a convention center. It was a lot of space that had way open rooms that looks like has had previous business conventions, maybe even some comic cons. You never know, man. But definitely cool to see is almost like some of these areas were blocked off. I tried to do a little bit of exploring, but I feel like every time I came across one of these areas, one of the workers would kind of give me that weird stare like, what are you doing here? And I'd be like, uh. I'm <laughs> just exploring. <laughs> so we didn't stay in these areas for long, but you know, see that meeting room, lobby, Atlantic Hall. I think all these areas are technically supposed to be blocked off to the regular guests. And these are only for the business associates and whatnot, but still cool. So, so I'm showing it off. Now, if you're traveling to Epcot and Hollywood Studios, you got to get on a boat to uh, from the dolphin to get there if you're going to magic kingdom or animal kingdom you have to get on a bus and keep in mind if you're going to magic kingdom it does not take you to the park it takes you to the ticket and transportation center that is diabolical in my opinion i think this is probably one of the biggest instances where disney really is saying hey listen we don't own this hotel so you clearly don't get all the amenities that all of the rest of the disney resorts get Whatever, it's fine, man, but definitely worth mentioning that we definitely had to go get on the monorail instead of just having a bus take us straight and dropping us off at the Magic Kingdom. 
might be a small discretion for some people, but I, that's definitely a huge discrepancy for me personally. Now, Epcot and Hollywood Studios, you got to get on a boat to get to those parks. It's fine. Also kind of weird that they don't have any uh, bus systems uh, to uh, get to these parks either. However, some cast members did help us enjoy our experience riding on this boat to Epcot. It was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. That's right. Seven minutes, man. And that should about do it. That is my accumulative review of the Walt Disney World Dolphin. Now, for the two nights, three days that we stayed here, was it worth a thousand bucks? No, not really. <laughs> I really did miss the atmosphere of the Disney characters and the regular Disney amenities like the bus services. Uh, the food was good. I'll give, I'll give it that. The atmosphere of all the pools was okay. But I mean, it just kind of looked like a regular hotel. It didn't really give me that Disney feel. Would I recommend staying here? Sure. I mean, if the Disney perception is not on your bucket list but if you want to see characters if you want to see disney artwork if you just want to feel like you're in the disney bubble this might not be the exact resort for you but it is still a very nice resort to stay at a little overpriced if i'm being completely honest but it was okay i had a good time okay now it's time for you to let me know how you felt about it have you stayed here before did you enjoy it did you love it did you hate it let me know in the comment section below man if you watched this video all the way through i thank you truly this was a long one and if you watched all 25 minutes of this hey man you're a cool person haha <laughs> all righty as always you can follow me at youtube.com slash 79 i film all of our disney world disneyland disney cruise line adventures so if you want to see that stuff then make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss out i'm also on facebook and instagram and tiktok and make sure you follow me on those social media platforms as well i'd appreciate it as always my friends uh, i will see you guys on the next one i'll catch y'all later bye